dismiss. Oh, Commander, I would like for you to stay. Sir. Perhaps it will help you to see. Sir. Help you to see the point where the lance cannot penetrate. And now's the high priest. All the swords on earth cannot destroy what this Kypris represents. Stay standing. Stay silent. Just violate my people, I am distressed. I am listening. Your soldiers have brought their standards into Jerusalem. Yes. Standards with idolatrous symbols. Idolatrous? What? Yes. I do not understand. The emperor is not divine. Are you denying his authority over this land and his people? Are you? No. Okay. But we deny his divinity, my lord. And we will not deny the claims of our god. Your god, Caiaphas. God? But Caiaphas, listen to me. The standards of the Roman soldiers have been carried to every corner of this earth. They are our history, our blood, our bravery, and our mission. I understand. That. Are you sure that you do? You who prefer the claim of a god that you cannot see, and will not even name, or the fact of conquest or the flesh and blood of the men who bear the standards? Jerusalem is a holy city, my lord. We are not denying it. The Jews have been granted concession and love, yet still. The land is full of agitators and terrorists! There's henchmen the air, my lord. Your people are waiting. I know. I know. They are waiting the leader. Yes, but that's an anime that you may never understand, Pontius. It is not rebellion or insurrection. Five terrorists were executed today. All of them died with threats on their lips that there was one greater than they to follow. Who are they waiting for? What treason is being hatched? And there's a temple up. Sent up for rebellion? We have not entered it. We have not desecrated it. We have not interfered with it in any way. What better place then, Caiaphas, for the raising of the banner of wicked insurrection? No! You are the leader of your people, High Priest. But not all my people accept my leadership, my lord. No. There's faith as well as blood in our veins, religion as well as marrow in our bones. Our God is our leader and our protector. So when we submit to our superior earthly power, religious unity is <coughs> difficult. Religious disputes are inevitable. Daily I'm abused by my own flock for working too well, too easily with the conqueror. I have granted you many concessions. And I have not stood up for continent rebellion, my lord. Standards are dear to our soldiers. Jerusalem is a holy city, never to be defied. I say if, if the standards are put in, in some way within the walls of Jerusalem, then a new era of You Fewer terrorists. Well, I think that fewer terrorists. My lord, you can count more readily on the temple authorities in putting down any zealous or misguided fanatic. And you approve this to me, gladly, my lord. The standards will be covered when taken into Jerusalem. My lord! Cover! You see, Caiaphas, it is not an easy concession for us to make. We accept with proper gratitude and humility, my lord. Everywhere they are saying it, Peter. That still don't make it true, does it? No, but The then... Messiah will only come when we don't expect him. Soon, maybe. Soon. I'll grant you that. My God! Look at that, then! It's... Ah, it's just a loony. What's wrong? Oh, 
watch out for your brethren. Perhaps you'll bring us luck. Look, his feet are bleeding. Take no notice. Take no notice. But where's he come from? We don't want to be bothered. Perhaps he's on a run. He looks, he looks like... Take no notice, Andrew. Keep yourself to yourself. He looks like John. Shut up. Shut up. He looks like John. Stop it, Andrew. He'll go away. You'll see. He'll go away. <coughs> what are you staring at? You, we have not different friends. So get going. <coughs> I said, what are you staring at? You. Well, do it. Why? Makes me uncomfortable. Why? What? Why? You've got the cheek. I'll thump you in the minute. He, he looks like me. If it he, makes you feel more comfortable. For God's sake. Do not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. No, not yet. Do not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Sorry. <laughs> you are a good man. And so is your brother. How do you know we are brothers? All men are brothers. You know that all men are brothers. Yes. But only some of them work and some of them don't. Some of them have swords and some of them have wood. And some of them have bread and some of them have nothing in their bellies. I have nothing in my belly. See? I've been in the wilderness for 40 days. 49. You can have a bit of my bread. 40 Just days. Just a bit. My food. Find out. Talk with. Find out. This time. What? The Lord God has chosen the time. You too have been chosen. What is your name? Simon, when you are called Peter, that's my brother Andrew. If it's any of your business. <laughs> it is my business. What? I love you, Peter. What on earth are you? <laughs> I love you too, Andrew. <laughs> Get off! Go on! Leave us alone! What, frightening? No, but you can't hear all of you want. I came. Yes, but if I came me. because I am Jesus. I am come from God. Get off! Get away! Go on! Looney! Madman! Get away! Peter? Ought to be locked up! Peter! Wind that around with blood on your feet! Peter! I understand your anger. And I understand your pain. I'm not frightened! I am. I bloody well am. He's a loony, a loony! <laughs> I do not want to be chosen either. <laughs> but the kingdom of heaven is upon us. People are waiting. You know that people are waiting. For the Messiah, they are waiting for the Messiah. Yes. What am I? Why do I stop you? Why do you frighten me? Why does the blood come in your hands? Why does the hand touch your heart? Why does lightning flash before your eyes? Why is your throat so suddenly dry? Kneel down. Andrew.
Jesus. Where is he? What is he doing? Pray. Catch him. Have some of this. <coughs> Pray. Oh. 
ordinary have all put in the hands of your own brothers. Do you want me to congratulate you or something? Love your enemy. What? Yes, <laughs> I say it again. Love your enemies. Love those who hate you. Love those who hit and spit at you. Love those who will destroy you. Love the sword that drives his sword into your bellies. <laughs> Listen, what I'm going to say has not been said ever since the world was done. And if you act upon my teaching, you will see the kingdom of heaven in your earth. Do not take an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. No! Do not set yourselves against the soldier who does you wrong. No! If he hits you. What then? Ah. What do we say? What do we do? Well, if a soldier hits you on the right cheek, <coughs> and obey the left cheek. Yes, it will hurt us twice as much, my friends. Especially if I were to do it, Master. <laughs> or, if a Roman soldier was to do it, then turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. Yes. They humiliate us. 
Yes, I could, no? The songs of Zion. I know, I know. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, and let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Oh, all people sing of war. But this people, you know, they are. They have an identity that cannot be destroyed. Show them an answer and they will run. That's it. All I know is they are troublesome now. Waiting for a leader to foment treachery and insurrection. Oh, so they're sensitive. They feel it on the patrols and they don't like it. A messiah. Oh, that word. The latest contender for the position is a madman from um, Nazareth, sir. A carpenter. How do you know this? The servants talk. That is so, sir. The carpenter. Then he can start making his own cross, eh? <laughs> But, well, this one is a bit different, sir, according to reports. Different? You mean, he's not of the Zealot party? He goes around to check peace. <laughs> Why does there seem to be contempt in your voice, Commander? <laughs> Love your enemies. That seems to be his war cry. And he includes the Romans in this? Apparently so. Oh, good. And they listen to this? Great crowds. But only out in the hills, nothing to worry about. I have been told that the people in the villages believe him to be from their God. Love your enemies. Sanchez, what are you thinking? I am thinking that the Jews know only too well that they cannot drive us out by force of arms. Not in a million years. By the God's commander. A madman, you say. Nothing to worry us. Harmless, sir. Quite harmless. He does not come into the cities. But if you really think about it, no. It doesn't make Love your enemies? What on earth does it mean? Pardon me, ma'am, but it means the man is a lunatic. <laughs> a two-edged sword. Now you are the police of the temple, and therefore the guardians of the holy law of the prophets. You are my eyes and my ears, and if necessary, my finger of accusation. The people are confused now, Judas. They await signs from heaven. But master, what if there should be such signs? Suppose and you suppose that I, Caiaphas, high priest in Jerusalem, would not know about them? These are hard times. We all wait for signs from heaven. But surely, surely our God has not abandoned us. Oh, Master, God will never abandon us. Yes, Judas. So perhaps now is the moment. The moment when we shall be tested by our Lord God. But remember, Judas, our God is a jealous God. And he will not be mocked, not by soldiers, nor tramps nor madmen, and not even carpenters. But the carpenter is a man who, in all conscience, one could love. Judas, master, does he tell the people to obey the priest? Or does he say, unless they prove themselves to be better men than the doctors of the law, then they cannot enter the kingdom of heaven? He, he says something like that. Something like that? Yes, master, it is an impertinence. An impertinence? To say who and who will not enter the kingdom of heaven? Invite this Jesus to show you a sign from heaven. Invite him to give his full support for the priesthood. Ask him what we should do about the Romans. Talk with him, debate with him, and note down any blasphemy that he may have said. Judas, you just may be right. And you will find no difficulty in becoming one of his raggle-taggle disciples, would you? No, Master. 
No, no difficulty. So long as you continue to find no difficulty in recognizing the authority and the sanctity of the temple. Watch your part, Judas Iscariot. Do not fall into the filthy ditch of blasphemy.
one by one. Tell them that I will be coming on an ass in three minutes and to worship me as they will do their people. Go on. Judas have seen and heard myself. He abuses the priest mercilessly. But master, the things he talked about have happened. With respect, master, there are... Bad, hypocritical priest, agreed. We do live in filthy and corrupt times. And he has come to cleanse. You are sure? No, I am sure. I'd like to think so too, Judas. For his dream is my dream. He therefore has nothing to fear from the temple courts. But the people are saying that he must be the Messiah because we do not interfere with him. Isn't this so? Yes, but... But you love him. Yes. Then save him from himself. His rhetorics are getting out of hand. Why he compares the priest to whiten sepulchers. And we all know that the surest way to destroy a faith is to destroy the reputation of its leaders. Surely you must see this, Judas. Yes, Master, but... Judas. Judas. Do you trust me? Yes. You don't sound too sure. No, Master. Can't you see? He's sowing seeds of dissent and distrust. And until his claims can be properly examined, we'll all be in danger. Now why has he fled the temple? He, well, it seemed prudent. Is a messiah prudent? And he wanted to make Nonsense! Alright! Alright! He'll prove he's from God before you and all the priests. Judas, that is all that I want. And oh, how I want it. I must do as you ask. I will take the police to him. Judas, you are doing much right. And if he is who he says he is, he has nothing to fear from me. Or any man. Now do as you must. Almighty God, 
Have you sent us the water at last? Almighty God. They have come first like you said. Let's run. No, run. Andrew. No. What must be, must be. Is what I must accomplish. It's because you mocked the priest? Yes, it is. Stay back. Stay back, I say. No violence. It is not she necessary. Does? Yes, master. You. Yes. You must prove yourself before the devil God. <coughs> you bastard! Peter. <laughs> I. Nothing to say. Jesus of Nazareth, witness after witness has testified of your blasphemies. Blasphemy spoken right here within the walls of this temple. Yet you have not answered them, challenged them, or given reply. Neither have you provided any witness to say otherwise. Do you believe yourself to be inspired by Almighty God? Have you nothing to say? Nothing. Jesus, answer now. Silence! Silence! This is an examination, not a public debate. This is the temple, not Babel. You have come, wild, ragged, and stinking out of the hills. And you throw abuse at the priests, and the elders, and the doctors of the law. Are you the son of the Blessed One? If you are, then speak. If not, then you are the greatest blasphemer that has ever walked on God's earth. Speak. Speak. <laughs> are you he, son of the Blessed One? Are you the Messiah? Blasphemer! Blasphemer! Need we go on? This man is obviously guilty. What say he? What say he? Jesus, answer them. Please, get this answer man out. Them. Get this man out. Jesus, please. We find Jesus of Nazareth guilty of heresy and the most foul of blasphemies. He shall be bound in chains and delivered to the prefect of Judea. And let this be even more warning to the confused and the gullible. 
Only in the temple can one find the true and ordained law of the prophets. For this is the seat of Moses in the holy city of God. Bind him! Take him away!
this 